by gay. I was going to ask you about that because yeah. dating <laughs> generally outside of the industry is really is is hard, and you don't seem to be having issues with it. No, I mean I've um like I have my own issues with just like. Uh, so far, I haven't dated anyone who's been like, I don't want you to shoot with guys or like they're uncomfortable about it. Um, I was with this one dude for a second and he was super nice. He literally told me, he's like, I don't want you to change anything like mm-hmm. about your life now that we're like hanging out and stuff. Um, and that just, that ended just from, honestly, I just didn't feel like we were a good match, but um, but so far, anybody I've dated, um, I try not to at least jump into anything. Like anybody I start seeing, it's kind of like pretty casual for a while. And then, yeah, I just haven't get, had to really get to the point where we're going to have that conversation, mm-hmm. thankfully. But so far, um, I dated like a couple people and they've all been very, they're just like, let's just talk about it or or they're kind of into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've had yeah. like I've had like two guys be like, "I watch your, I'll watch your stuff." Sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, "Oh, like today this guy I'm seeing was like, sent me something." I was like, "Oh God, you found my Twitter!" <laughs> it's like, "Oh no," and he was like, "Yeah," he's like, I, "I was just wondering if he ever tweeted about the time you tried to kill me with sixteen habaneros." I was like, "No," <laughs> <laughs> but. That's what happens when you date a cook. I it, sneak sixteen habaneros into your so food. The, and you piss her thing, off. I wasn't. I wasn't pissed off. I was trying to impress him because he's part Peruvian, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna make this Peruvian dish," and I like spice. And I was like, "You're Peruvian. You must like spice." <laughs> and we start eating it, and I was like, "Huh." He's like, it's really good. And I'm like, yeah. And then we're both like sweating after like two minutes. We're like, he's like, how many habaneros did you put in? It? I was like, I like six. He's like, probably put like one and we would have been <laughs> fine. I was like, okay, well. So I almost killed him that night <laughs> on accident. Habaneros are intense. I love them. but they're Yeah. I, now I know. So how do you meet guys? Because you're kind of known for sliding into like famous people's DMs, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're not necessarily on Tinder. No, not Tinder. Um, I have a Raya. Okay. That's usually, that's like the safest one, I feel like. Um, so far, those that's usually where I meet people or Instagram. I've, mm-hmm. I've yeah, I usually just, I've slid in and just usually say wood bane. Just, that's it. And usually, it, will you bang? I just, that's all I say is would bang. What? Like I, mean? I would bang you. It's oh, like I would what bang. I'm saying. Oh, sorry, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, that's gotcha. all I say. <laughs> I mean, it's short and to the point. Yeah, so I'm like, especially if it's like, yeah, someone I'm kind of just like, it's a famous person. Mm-hmm. I don't really see that being a relationship, but. And they respond? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, also, too, like, people get a lot. I mean, I know for me, I get so many fucking DMs mm-hmm. that, like, a lot of times, like, I won't see people's DMs. Yeah. I, I also think, don't check my DMs anymore. Yeah. Well, I have the, the blue check mark, so I feel like that helps. That does, but also. That puts you in the primary section. Yeah. yeah. But also, <laughs> always, like, I always said that, like, I feel like just saying, like, oh, I'd smash or I'd bang. Mm-hmm kind of gets their attention more especially if it's like a celebrity you kind of have a crush on because they're not like i'm sure they get messages all the time about girls I like um yeah i'm in your like, city like kind of trying to step <laughs> yeah step around yeah and ultimate. I, which i'm like if if it's a dude that's like pretty up there like an a-list like there's not much he's probably wanting to do yeah i mean sometimes they're like so Where'd you grow up? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, I mean, <laughs> you're like I just, I just messaged you that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're not shy about your love for hooking up with comedians. No. What attracts you to comics specifically? Um, I mean, I, if there's one job I think more vulnerable than being naked on camera, it's 
telling jokes to a crowd. Oh, girl. Like, stand-up <laughs> comedy gives me fucking so much anxiety. Yeah. Like, I, that is the one thing that I don't think I would ever have the guts to do. Like, I will yeah. do all things mm-hmm. before stand-up comedy. I will jump out of an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> I will jump into a pool full of roaches. Mm-hmm. I will have sex on camera, which I won't do now. Right. Um, I will do anything before I do stand-up comedy because that is so scary. And I mm-hmm. almost hate going to to like open mic nights because when that person gets up there that's yeah. not that funny and mm-hmm. nobody's laughing at their jokes like the Your pain breaks. <laughs> that I feel inside for uh-huh. that person is like it's very overwhelming and uncomfortable yeah yeah <laughs> I get that and you have I feel like you also have to be kind of vulnerable that's to be why. good right yeah, for sure and that's why like a of my favorite comics um I'm like now friends with which is interesting but they're all very authentic people Mm -hmm. and they're also like the kind of comics that don't like because there's comics that like kind of do the douchier thing where they're making fun of everyone else Mm -hmm. but I like like even me like I've written some stand-up and it's always like stuff based off me and my Mm -hmm. own shit yeah because I feel like if you can't laugh at yourself, then you're not a good comic. <laughs> yeah. And I think that people find humor in the things that are always personally relatable. Yeah, right? exactly. Because we all have vulnerabilities. Exactly. So when, so when someone can stand up there and not only talk about their vulnerabilities, but, mm-hmm. you know, make you laugh about them. Yeah. Then that I think that triggers something in all of us. Yeah. Because you're also like, oh, I feel included. Yes. Like, yes. Oh, I feel seen. Yes. And I'm not the only like, person who feels that way. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people, I mean, you go to a comedy show for entertainment, but you're also weirdly going for this like therapeutic kind of thing because mm-hmm. you're like, oh, it's all. And so I like those kind of comics that kind of go up and they're like, all right, like, <laughs> let's talk about trauma or like let's Mm -hmm. but in like a very Mm -hmm. (laughs) lighthearted, fun way or just like the world's issues and what's going on but somehow like having a very clever punchline Mm -hmm. to make it feel a little less heavy yeah for what's going on yeah yeah because there's a lot going on yeah there's a lot for people (laughs) to cope with right now exactly so i'm like i feel like that's mostly why people go at least right now probably more than anything who are some of your favorite comedians? And they don't have to be people you slept with. And just because you say their name doesn't necessarily mean that you slept with them. I just want to put that out there. Unless you want to say you slept with them, then that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorites are Brent Morin, Andrew Santino, Bobby Lee. I only slept with Brent. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. He's he's lovely. He's um, He's like one of my best friends, too. So it's like... What's but his name? Brent what? Brent Morin. He's like, his uh, he's like probably one of the only comics where I've rewatched his Netflix special like over okay. and over again. He's very he's very good writer, very smart. Um, yeah, his comedy is almost like theater though. Mm-hmm. It's I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, love Larry David I don't know if he does stand up but just as a comedian and a writer he yeah he's like he well, he's like yeah. he's I mean yeah. he's he's um Seinfeld yeah but yeah you know, better. <laughs> but George but, yeah yeah, uh, great. yeah the list goes on I'm like I, I can name so many but we'll be here for another like <laughs> now you said that um over the summer, you were considering doing stand-up comedy yourself. Mm-hmm. Are you still considering that? Yeah. Have you done it yet? Not yet. I've written some stuff out and was talking to my friend Bobby about uh, coming on stage mm-hmm. at one of his things, I think, at Brea Improv. So we'll see. Are you nervous? At this point, I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm kind of going to the new year with like, you just gotta do it. Yeah. So for I'm trying I'm to do stand up. I'm gonna get my diving certification. I'm gonna do like things that scare me just because my I mean my <laughs> how I even decided to start doing porn was I had the thought of like well I'll try anything once. Mm-hmm. Like you just gotta yeah. do it. Like why? So yeah. 
and now it's led me to a great career and great life so yeah let's yeah. see what comedy leads to let's see what maybe swimming with sharks leads to hopefully yeah. I'll... and i'm sure i'm sure anal is on that list too right for the new yeah year. well i've i've shot like, actually anal. i don't know maybe you've shot anal. <laughs> i've shot i've shot anal i haven't i haven't done a dp yet okay. and i want to but everyone's like hold out for a showcase and i'm like <laughs> Oh Fine. yeah, yeah. Which I'm well, like, I get it, but you know what? There's, I wouldn't say that there is. Um, that's bad advice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because once you've done it, it's also money. It, you like, can't yeah, do it again. And yeah, why not like make it the whole? Yeah, thing? yeah. why not you know make the whole thing at theater? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that'd be so fun. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, you do a live DP that'd on a be, theater stage? That'd be do really stand, fun. Do a special where you do stand-up comedy and then you get DP. And then I do, do That'd be amazing. I'm sure no one's done that yet. Nobody has done that yet. I will love to do that. Yeah. I'm so down. I don't know who would, what company would be. <laughs> I guess I could do it. You could do it. Yeah. I'm like, we got AVNs for your featurette. So I'm like, it definitely gave me inspiration of like, also that I want to try to direct something next mm -hmm. year. Yeah. So.